I am interested to see if this is a better speaker than the other competitors I've already tried on this channel. A few moments later. Again, you can hear the bass, you can feel the bass. It's actually amazing. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today in front of me, we have the DOS Soundbox speaker. Now on Amazon, this is a best seller. So I am interested to see if this is a better speaker than the other competitors I've already tried on this channel. So we've tried, uh, well for speaker really it's only been Anger. Uh, we've been uh, the Soundcore Mini, the Soundcore, the bigger one. And this one will beat out on at least Amazon all those ratings. So I'm interested to see again if this is a better speaker than the other ones. So let's find out. So around the box here, you know, on the front here, we just got the picture of the speaker on the top. You know, the picture of the speaker, but on top of it. And their side view, and then the logo on the side. Uh, for specs wise, like I said, now this is called the sound box. Now it's Bluetooth 4.0. It also is uh, this is audio input mode. It is Bluetooth or uh, there's also an auxiliary in, and you can put a, an SD card in it, was well, an FT card. Uh, good performance, is a small side, perfect, perfect for sound quality. Uh, there's sensitive control for your touch on the top, for I guess the up and down for your, your volume. Uh, there's also, we also have a 33 feet working distance for Bluetooth, now that's very, very strong. And uh, up to 12 hours at 50% volume for uh, playtime. Now, for the speaker itself, the driver unit is a 1.5 inch speaker. There's also two of them in there, and a 2.6 inch passive radiator. So I'm expecting this to be a very strong speaker for both high end and low end. Uh, power supply is a 22 milliamp hour, sorry, 20, 2200 milliamp hour uh, battery, uh, six watts of power output. Uh, then it just gives you some dimensions of the. Uh, the speaker itself. So let's crack into this here. And yes, this time I did bring a knife. Not like my last video where I forgot it. Now, wait, it's very heavy inside the box. So inside the box, we get a manual and the speaker itself. And it is very very big it's pretty heavy you know compared to the other speakers I've looked at this one is the heaviest so far and then also we have uh, it looks like the charging cable and we also have an audio jack if you want to use it for the auxiliary if you want to plug it right in and this is the speaker itself And look at that. That is a beautiful look for the speaker. Let me just move this out of the way here. Look at that look. It is very pretty. Now on the side you got the logo. And then you also have, I guess, the logo here on the front. And then you have your test sensitive control. So it looks like if you spin it this way, it's volume down and you got volume up. You got your buttons on here. So let me just tear this off. That is beautiful. It's actually one of the prettier speakers I've actually seen. So on the back, we got an on off button. We got a line in for your FT card, which I thought they would always be SD card, but apparently I'm wrong. I've never heard of an FT card. And then we got your charging. And then you got the sticky pad on the bottom, which grips very, very well. So let's just turn this on here. And it lights up right on the top here. Looks really nice. You know, and it's again, it's hefty. It's it's not a cheap speaker. Uh, and I will actually give you guys how much this speaker was. It isn't very very expensive. It's only uh, you know only thirty nine to ninety nine Canadian. So let's hope. Now I think the Soundcore uh, Anchor speaker was about $50. So let's just see if this speaker will be better than that. 
and let's just scan to see if it comes right up. And there you go. It's already paired. Now, that was a little slow, but my, also my phone is older now, so it doesn't work the same as it used to. So let's just see if we try some different music here. Now I don't know if this is on 50% volume or if it's really no way of telling so it's it's around the outside right here so you don't touch the center you touch around the center here or your outside and so there's really no way of telling if the speaker's at full volume or not. Uh, well, full volume is like that, but I don't know if you know if it's uh, less than that or not. So let's just try this out here. Now again, I always start my speakers at about half volume. So, so far, nothing uh, extraordinary with just how it sounds. It sounds about the same as anything else. I'm going to move it up a little more in the video here. So like I said, that's, that's at half volume. Let's just pull this up a little more here. Now that's about, that's three quarters and the bass is starting to pick up quite a bit. Why not? Let's crank it. I'm going to see if I can find another song that has more bass, a little louder. Uh, let's just see if we can get this thing to really crank up, get its full potential. I don't think that's its full potential on this speaker. So I went searching through YouTube here, and uh, YouTube does actually have some really nice copyright free music. Uh, this one, and I'll leave it down below, also the link for it. Uh, this song is called Blur, and it's by Ryan. Uh, now, I was just going through a little bit, just testing it out with all, off camera. And it's a lot different in front of it, facing towards you guys, than it is back towards here. Uh, but one thing I'm in, I am noticing, there's way more bass in this speaker than any other speaker I've had. The sound quality is more crisp. It is amazing, really, on how this thing sounds. So let's try out this new song here. And like I just said, it was the high and the low end. It sounds great. 
in every way, like I said, and towards behind this way, it's so much louder than back here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that if I face it more towards me or not. Uh, probably not. <laughs> So, you know what, I don't say it's any better than Anchor, but it's definitely not worse. It's really comparable depending if you want, you know, the high end, the low ends. And you know what, for an all around good speaker, you know what, I think I'm going to check out more of these uh, speakers from DOS. If you know of any other speakers that you guys would like to hear, let me know, know down below in the comments. Or if you'd like to see a side-by-side -side with the Anchor Soundcore and the DOS speaker, let me know also down below. So that's going to do it for the video there, guys. And uh, again, amazing speaker. Uh, and I like the touch sensitive controls on top here, how you can switch your tracks. There's also a microphone in here. I'm not going to test that out, but I'm sure it's all right. Uh, most of them aren't great, but they're not also horrible. So again, that's going to do it for the video there, guys. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to, this, to my channel to help me out. And uh, if you guys want to see more, uh, I do have more stuff coming up. There's also, in, here in the new, near future, within probably the next week or so, uh, I've got a special one for you guys. So, again, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.